we are asked to simplify the given medical expressions. Here we have the seventh root of x to the 23rd, y to the 14th, z to the 8th. Because the index is seven, we need to begin by determining how many factors of x to the seventh, y to the seventh, and z to the seventh are in the radicand. And let's go ahead and list them. x to the 23rd is equal to x to the seventh times x to the seventh times x to the seventh. Remember when multiplying and the bases are the same, we add the exponents. So right now we have 21 factors of x, but because we started with x to the 23rd, we have two remaining factors of x, and therefore we write times x squared. Notice how there are three factors of x to the seventh in x to the 23rd. And now for y to the 14th, we can write y to the 14th as y to the seventh times y to the seventh. Here we have exactly 14 factors of y, which means there are exactly two factors of y to the seventh in y to the 14th. And for z to the eighth, there's one factor of z to the seventh. We can write z to the eighth as z to the seventh times one factor of z. So because the index is seven, all the factors raised to the seventh power will simplify perfectly. To emphasize this, let's write this as a product using the product property of radicals shown here, where in the first radical, we'll write all the factors raised to the seventh power, in the second radical, we'll write all the remaining factors. So let's write this as the seventh root of x to the seventh times x to the seventh times x to the seventh times y to the seventh times y to the seventh times z to the seventh. Let's go ahead and shorten this radical. And then we have times the seventh root of the remaining factors, which would be x to the second times z. The seventh root of x to the seventh will simplify to one factor of x here, here, and here. The seventh root of y to the seventh will simplify to one factor of y here and here. And the seventh root of z to the seventh will simplify to one factor of z here. So when simplifying, we end up with one, two, three factors of x, which would be x to the third two factors of y, which would be y to the second, one factor of z, which gives us z, and then times the seventh root of x to the second z. This is the simplified form of the given radical expression. Now let's look at the second example. Here we have the fourth root of x to the sixth, y to the 23rd, z to the 16th. And again, because the index is four, we begin by determining how many factors of x to the fourth, y to the fourth, and z to the fourth are in the radicand. And again, let's list them. There's one factor of x to the fourth and x to the sixth. We can write x to the sixth as x to the fourth times x squared. Next, we have y to the 23rd. Notice how if we divide 23 by four, we get five with the remainder of three, which means there are five factors of x to the fourth in y to the 23rd, and three remaining factors of y. Let's go ahead and list them. We have y to the fourth times 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 y to the fourth. That's 20 factors of y. Because we have 23, we have times y to the third. And then we have z to the 16th, because 16 divided by four is four. There's exactly four factors of z to the fourth in z to the 16th. We can write z to the 16th as z to the fourth times itself four times. Again, because the index is four, all the factors raised to the fourth power are going to simplify perfectly. We have x to the fourth here. We have one, two, three, four, five factors of y to the fourth, and one, two, three, four factors of z to the fourth. Again, let's write this as a product of two radicals, where in the first radical, we have all the factors raised to the fourth power, and in the second radical, we will have the remaining factors. So we have one x to the fourth, five factors of y to the fourth, and four factors of z to the fourth. And we're left with times the fourth root of x squared y cubed. The fourth root of x to the fourth simplifies to one factor of x here. The fourth root of y to the fourth simplifies to one factor of y here, 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 and here. And the fourth root of z to the fourth simplifies to one factor of z here, 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 and here. So in simplifying, we end up with one factor of x, one, two, three, four, five factors of y, which gives us y to the fifth, and one, two, three, four factors of z, which gives us z to the fourth, 
And then we have times the fourth root of x squared y to the third. There is one more thing to consider for this problem though. Unless we are told the value of the variables are non-negative, whenever simplifying a radical with variables, if the index is even and the simplified part has an odd exponent, we do need to include the variables in an absolute value. So for here, we should include these variables here in an absolute value to assure the result is non-negative. This would be the simplified form of the given radical expression. I hope you found this helpful.